Hey, Miss Jennifer with Beeski Cosmetology School here. I'm the director of education and I get asked all the time, you know, what makes a good beauty school? Like what, what, how do you look for the right things? What should you choose? And, you know, when we do our interviews, we like to tell you what it is that we have to offer. You're investing a lot of money. So we want to make sure that you know, you're picking the right program for you, that whatever it is that you're passionate about is what you're going to leave with, you know? So, um, I wanted to share with you just some things maybe that you you should consider or look for um, when choosing a beauty school. So, you know, once you figure out what your passion is, okay, that's going to be the first part. And then that's going to make uh, deciding a little bit easier because you're going to know what to look for. Some of the things that I would suggest on looking for is when you're looking at the different schools, um, look and see maybe what class offerings they have. That's going to be critical, right? Because they need to fall in line with what it is that you're wanting to do. You know, if you absolutely don't love doing hair color, then you need to make sure that their curriculum has that in it and has maybe uh, an expansive uh, curriculum for hair coloring, you know? Um, what are the core classes? What are the core classes that you'd be taking? Do a lot of them support the area of the... Um, the certificate for licensing that you would want to obtain, you know, that's the thing, right? You're paying a lot of money to go to school. You should make sure that everything falls in line with that. Now the beauty industry is huge. So there's a lot of things. And I think the more versatile you can be, the better off you're going to be because you have a lot more options open to you than really limiting yourself. You know, uh, beauty school location is going to be really important, right? So like, where are you going to live? Are you going to live near the school? Are you going to live with someone? You need to make sure that it, demographically it's most convenient for you to make it very easy for you to get there. It's a huge commitment going to cosmetology school. So um, make sure that you know, the area that you're in is going to get you there very quickly, that that's not going to be a stress of yours is trying to get there on time and all of that kind of stuff. And then, you know, the other thing is going to be, how do you pay for cosmetology school? You know, unless you've been saving since you were six years old, <laughs> which I had not, right? <laughs> Who does that? Okay. So unless you were saving since you were six years old, this is going to be a concern of yours as well. And I would definitely say look for a school that may be accredited because usually accredited schools will offer programs that offer financial aid or some type of financial aid support. Now, there's other ways of getting things like that, but this is a great starting point for you, you know? And then what about what makes a top cosmetology school? You know, um, that's another thing too is do you, do you want to just get in and get out? Like just get your license and get in and get out? What do you want to get out of it while you're there? You know, beauty schools um, can provide you with proper guidance, support technical skills, um, achievements, you know, uh, immediate success offerings. Um, these are the things that you might want to look at. And that's going to start with like the course curriculum. So Again, look at the curriculum. I mentioned that before. Look at the curriculum and make sure that it's in line with what you're doing. Is it going to give you um, the theory portion, the understanding, the comprehension that you're looking for so that you aren't just walking through trying to remember everything that you learned in school. You actually can comprehend the information of why things happen the way that they do. So you're not just getting the what, you're getting the why too. Also, does it offer practical business skills? Because a lot of this is business, right? It comes down to personality and it comes down to business skills. It's not just technical skills. Um, you have to have a good business sense with you. And one of the things we do is we teach you 70% of what's not taught in schools for business and motivation as well. So um, that's something to definitely look into what the school is offering is the business aspect of things because that can make or break your business in general. So, and then also exam preparation. How well are they going to prepare you for the exam? Like, when does this happen? When when do you start that? You know, for us, we start uh, practicing for the exam literally like the week you start school. So, um, and then we build that up all the way through because that is very, very important, not only for the theory, but also for the practical. And then what methods are they using to teach you this exam? That's another thing too. Are you just going through the motions of, you know, learning just different segments and things like that? Or are you actually learning the hands-on exam test, the actual state board test? And then with theory, how are you learning? What methods are, are you obtaining to make sure that you remember this information so, 
it's a long time when you're in cosmetology school by the time you actually graduate and you have to test out to graduate to by the time you are ready to go take your licensure and which you have to do for theory and practical so um, that's a long time to try to re retain the information and that's why we want you to have the comprehension not just trying to memorize it right so that's going to be super important to find out too um, industry um, involvement like what type of involvement does your school or does the school have in the industry? You know, do they do hair shows? Do they invite people in? Um, what What is it that they do? That's going to be really important to check out too because you need to make sure that that's also in line with um, maybe some of the resources and connections that you can make. Like what, what is that? How, how are they going to help you in exposing you to the different aspects of the industry? Because it starts in school, but it's so much bigger than that. Like it's so, the industry is endless what you can do with it and how much exposure you're going to get to what's out there, what's outside those walls. That's what you need to check on too. And then the last thing I'm going to say is probably maybe the hands-on in the student salon. Like what kind of hands-on are you going to get? Are you going to be on clients? Are you going to be on mannequins? Are you going to have assignments? Are you going to have certain things that, um, are structured to help you along the way? Are you going to be sitting around, you know, waiting for clients to come in, twiddling your thumbs and being on your phone and that kind of thing and not getting anything done? That's not what we do here. There is a game plan. There is, we teach you how to self-motivate. It's not easy to be self-motivated, but in this industry, it's important for you to learn what that means and to be able to do that. And salon owners will love that. They don't want you sitting in the back break room waiting for somebody to walk in, reading, you know, beauty magazines. What does that do for you? Nothing, right? They want you to be able to communicate and go out and get clients and that kind of stuff. And, you know, we teach you a lot of those types of things. And those are the types of things that you need to really seek out and say, you know, what are other schools doing? What are they doing? Are they offering these types of things before, you know, you decide what school that you want to attend? It's super important to check out several schools. We always say, don't just check out ours, check out several schools. You need to know, like, is money the first thing that they talk about when you walk through the door? That's not what we talk about. What we want you to know is what is it that we do here? Because if, if you don't know what we do here, and you aren't going to commit to what we do here, then maybe our school isn't the best place for you. We're a very small school, so we're very hands-on. The accountability is very high. And, you know, most people sit there and say, well, we love that. That's what I need. That's what I need until we hold you accountable for things, right? And so when you commit to coming here, you're saying that you're being committed to accountability, success, success long after you're gone from here and um, that you're allowing us to hold you accountable to do these things. So I would love to talk to you more about this. Info at vskycosmetology.com. That's the email address. If you send me an email, I will send you my cell phone number and we can talk about it again. Um, this is going to be important information for you to know and to help you decide on what school is going to work best for you. Everybody's got a different perception of everything. And you know what? Maybe our school isn't right for every single person. Um, you Maybe you've decided since you were six, you knew exactly where you were going. So maybe you did save up, right? Um, but most of the times it doesn't really work that way. And are you going to have a support system? Sometimes people will whine and dine you in the very beginning, right? And then all of a sudden um, you feel a little lost as you're going through the program because now you don't really know what to do. There's not a whole lot of structure to what's being laid out the rest of your program. So, um, you know, we, we have a lot of structure here. Um, we, again, hold you accountable and, you know, and getting you to do these kinds of things. Uh, we teach you these things and make sure that, you are getting every bit of what you're paying for. That is an investment that you're making. And it's important that you get a good return on your investment. So again, I am Miss Jennifer. I'm the director of education here. I would love to talk to you further about this. And I just wanted to touch base with you and say, you know what? It's hard to pick a beauty school. Like, how do you know what to look for and where are you going to feel best? Because once you pick one, you don't know what you would have gotten from another one, right? So you have no idea either how good or how bad you have it if you don't research things. So that's my tip to you. Hopefully that helps. Email me info at vskycosmetology.com and I'll be happy to help you even further. Even if it's not this school that you attend, let me help you make the best decision possible for you. Okay.